Up uh, first tonight, a family is desperate to find their loved one who hasn't been seen since early Sunday morning. Delano Burke was hanging out with friends in the Heights when they say he simply disappeared without a trace. Zach Tawatari sat down with his wife and mother tonight. Zach, what are they telling you? That man's family says they've been searching this Heights neighborhood for days after a night out with friends. Now they're asking for the community's help in putting the pieces together. In this busy Heights neighborhood. We don't know what happened. It's, it's like a mystery. He just disappeared. The family of 26-year-old Delano Burks continues searching nearly five days after they say he went missing early Sunday morning. It's been hard because you're trying to keep going and think positive. <laughs> But then reality starts to set in. His wife Autumn and mother Karen Jeffley say they knew something was wrong that day when they hadn't heard from Burks. He just didn't call, so that's that's not like him at all. According to his family, Delano had gone out Saturday night with friends. One of those friends they say was driving Delano's car when they pulled over in a restaurant parking lot near Beavis and West 19th and 20th Streets in the Heights. That's when they say Delano went next door to McIntyre's to use the bathroom. They say this video they obtained shows Delano exiting McIntyre's after he was asked to leave, then appearing to run and stumble in videos they shared with us from more nearby businesses. I was wondering if somebody was chasing him. And according to the family, those friends Delano was with left without him. His friends had his car. Um, so it wouldn't have been like him to when his friends called. They said he was had already been gone for a whole day and he didn't call them to retrieve his car. Delano's phone, they say, ran out of battery and he also didn't have an ID. And now they're turning to the community for any help they can provide. This is completely just like not normal. We reached out to investigators and HPD tells us this is still an active investigation. If you know anything, you're asked to call the Missing Persons Unit at 832-394-1840. So I tried to retrace his steps and it looks like this is the Beavis Street here and he would have either left from behind that other restaurant, they have a couple of different exits at McIntyre's, and run all the way down here and there's a storage place and uh, it looks like maybe a post office building, I'm not 100% sure, but you'll see that there are some fences here and you can go around the fences in the other area. That's where I believe his cousin, and I'm gonna put that screenshot in, said that he was last seen, either a cousin or an aunt. I can't really understand why he would run off this way, but if he was intoxicated, he just may not have realized where he was or what was going on. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any water around, but I did read a post where somebody said there was a bayou several blocks away. I guess that's possible that he could have continued to run and just couldn't find his way back. Uh, he also doesn't have an ID on him, so that's not a good thing. He looked to be very intoxicated. Why his friends didn't re call or report anybody missing for an entire day after this, I'm really not sure. And we haven't heard anything about his story, and he's been missing since Saturday night, Sunday morning. Looks like the family found out sometime on Monday, and today's Friday. And they're still looking, but truly there is not a lot out there on this case as of right now. So it looks as though this was his auntie who posted this and the little blue dot is where she saw him last or where they, I'm sorry, where the video caught him last. And I started reading around. Again, there's not a lot of information, but I did see one post. Hello community, do we have any trained dogs in our community? 
this is an unconventional ask and I think it will take someone with the mind of why not. A young gentleman went missing for McIntyre's. I'm sure you'll have lots of questions or wonder where the professionals are. A police report was filed on Monday and it sounds like a light search was done on Monday. At this point, the family neighbors and Texas EquiSearch is on the case, but not as you'd expect. As of yesterday, they were posting flyers, but not actively searching because they're waiting on the last ping of his cell phone. It seems as though these things take time when cell phone data is gathered. Um, they've been gathering info to search for him. There's footage of him struggling and running, which is the last footage I am aware of. And the video is him running in Beavis by Life Storage. I'm requesting support from trained canines, but it seems those canines are trained to find buried bodies and not injured people. Um, is anyone willing to give this a try? So this was posted in, in a uh, dog and cat group. She was in Houston. She was just hoping maybe somebody could come and help out. I can't imagine that Texas EquiSearch would be waiting for pings from his cell phone. I'm sure they're probably doing more than that. I'm going to go look that up as well. I do see now that Texas EquiSearch has posted as of yesterday, and all they said was 26-year-old Delano Burks was seen near the 1200 block of West 19th Street in Houston the evening of 11-13-2022. Delano is a black male, 5'10", approximately 200 pounds. He was wearing a black Burberry t-shirt, gray checkered Burberry flannel, chino pants, and brown shoes as shown in the photos. If you have seen him since his reported disappearance, if you know of his current whereabouts or any information, contact Houston Police or Texas EquiSearch. So there's just not, there's just not a lot out here right now. Um, if you know anybody in that area, anywhere around those areas, it would be great for you to share his flyer. I'm going to put his flyer on my community post as well.